week, we also had the chance to speak with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about his political future and about this year's midterms. As he hit the trail to campaign for Democrats ahead of Tuesday's election, he spoke one-on-one -on -one with our Kristen Eskow. We're doing much better than the historical norm uh, when uh, you have a midterm election. And I think that reflects the difference in vision between our candidates and what you're seeing in uh, the congressional GOP and a lot of these Republican candidates. On the other side, you've got uh, you know very practical problem-solving approach that you've seen uh, from uh, a lot of Democrats who've done things like getting that infrastructure bill done. You know, the last administration said they were going to do it. It's always been considered a bipartisan priority, uh, but this time we actually made it happen. And I think when voters see things like that, they, they understand there's a real difference in approach, difference in values, and a difference in priorities. Do you think Republicans and Democrats can work together to get things done? And if so, where do you see the areas for most potential for compromise? Well, that's what I believe. That's what the president believes. And, and uh, that's what we've seen, right? The last couple of years, we got the, uh, we were disappointed, of course, that every single Republican said no on the inflation reduction bill, the prescription drug law. But we did get a lot of Republicans to come work with us on things like the infrastructure law. That was a big bipartisan vote. Same thing with the Chips and Science Act, bringing more manufacturing jobs uh, to the United States. So, uh, you know, even in today's divided Washington, uh, bipartisan cooperation is possible. It's something that, you know, Indiana, uh, Hoosier elected officials, uh, Democrat and Republican, have long been known for. Uh, and I would love to see us get back to that tradition. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you see more of an extreme turn in the GOP. But uh, as we have demonstrated with things like the infrastructure work, uh, we always stand ready to work across the aisle. Frankly, with the, the way the districts have been drawn in some of these races, the field has been tilted a little bit against Democrats. But uh, th that is never going to be a reason for our candidates to do anything but work extra hard, uh, even if it's uphill, to earn those seats and earn those votes. Finally, speaking of the future and elections, what do you see in store for your political future? Do you hope to run for president again someday? You know, uh, I'm very focused on the day job. It's more than enough to keep me busy. And I'm, I'm proud that, that President Biden has trusted me to, to work on such an important part of the, uh, uh, the agenda going forward. So uh, I've got my hands more than full and uh, focused on just trying to do a good job. All right, Pete Buttigieg there with our Kristen Eskow. Coming up next on this week's edition of In Focus, we'll hear what President Biden is saying about the midterm election results. And what will former President Trump do next week? Will he announce another run or have the midterms wounded him politically in the GOP? We'll talk with our panel after the break.